Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the introduction to React Native. Friend, uh, today's topic is very interesting especially if you have interest in technology and uh, mobile development. So let's uh, start friend. First of all, I would request you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page and Instagram as well. So friend, introduction to uh, React Native actually for several years now react native has been a hot topic in the mobile development world no wonder it took the technology world by storm by offering a way to develop mobile applications for both ios and android simultaneously react native one framework to rule them all react native has been successfully adopted by hundreds of businesses worldwide including Uber, Microsoft and Facebook and is used across a whole range of industries. However, before you decide to go all in with React Native, it's crucial that you understand how it works and decide if it's the best fit for your project. So what are its top advantages and biggest drawbacks? How is it different from other cross development platforms? and last but not the least what do your developer need to be aware of before they embark on the react native journey so today we shall discuss in detail first of all what is react native friend react native also known as rn is a popular uh, javascript based mobile app framework that allows you to build natively rendered mobile apps for ios and android the framework lets you create an application for various platforms by using the same code base. React Native was first released by Facebook as an open source project in 2015. In just a couple of years, it became one of the top solutions used for mobile development. React Native development is used to power some of the world's leading mobile apps including Instagram, Facebook and Skype. So uh, there are several reasons behind React Native global success. Firstly, by using React Native, companies can create code just once and use it to power both their iOS and Android applications. This translates to a huge time and resource saving. Secondly, React Native was built based on React, a JavaScript library which was already hugely popular when the mobile framework was released. Okay, uh, thirdly, the framework empowered front-end developers who could previously only work with web-based technologies to create robust production-ready applications for mobile platforms. Interestingly, as with many revolutionary inventions, React Native was developed as a response to a big technological mistake. How does React Native actually work? Now that we have discussed uh, cross-platform development, Let's take a look at the mechanics of React Native and how it is different from anything we have seen before. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, React Native is written with a mixture of JavaScript and, uh, and, and JXL, a special markup code uh, resemblant of XML. The framework has the ability to communicate with both uh, realms javascript based uh, threads and existent native app threads how does communication work actually react native uses a so-called bridge while javascript and native threads are written in completely different languages it's the bridge feature that makes uh, bi-directional communication possible this means that if you have already a uh, native iOS or Android app, you can still use its components or shift to React Native development. So what makes React Native unique actually? The difference between uh, React Native and other cross-platform development solutions, for example, Cordova and uh, uh, PhoneGap is that React Native doesn't render uh, web views in its code. It runs on actual native views and components this is one of the reasons for React Native's spectacular success. Benefits of React Native So we have discussed the product built using React Native. So let's move on to the advantages of React Native development 
and why you should choose it as a solutions to build your mobile app. First one is the code reusability. Being able to reuse code is the biggest advantages or advantage of React Native and it indicates that app can run effectively on multiple platforms which is something that CEO and product owners truly appreciate. They can integrate 99% of the native framework for uh, reusing the code for both operational systems. Another great piece of news is that it's possible to use the web application code for mobile app development if they are both using React Native. It also speeds up development time as it includes pre-developed components which are included in the open source library. Large developer community React Native is an open source JavaScript platform that allows developers to contribute their knowledge to the frameworks development which is freely accessible to all. If any developer experiences a problem while uh, developing an app then they can turn to the community for support as of mid 2020 there are nearly 50,000 active contributors to the react native tag in stack overflow there will always be someone who will be able to help them resolve their issues this also has a positive impact on improving coding skills cost efficiency Another advantage of React Native development is greater cost efficiency. As mentioned earlier, this is because developers are able to use the same code to build applications for iOS and Android. It means you don't have to hire two separate iOS and Android developer team to finalize your project. A small team is enough to build it. The cost of developing apps in React Native is much lower than apps built using languages that don't allow for cross-platform development. Fast Refresh Fast Refresh allows developers to run the app while updating it to the new versions and modifying the UI. Changes are visible immediately and the developer is spared from, from rebuilding the entire app. This leads to two significant benefits time savings as programmers save time on compilation and increased productivity since they don't lose any state while incorporating changes into the app. Simple UI React Native development uses React uh, JavaScript to build the app's interface which makes it more responsive and faster with reduced load time, uh, resulting in an overall better user experience thanks to the reactive UI and component based approach the framework is perfect for building apps with both simple and complex design a uh, few fast applications some claim that react native code might have a, a detrimental effect on an app's performance even though javascript wouldn't run as fast as native code this difference is unnoticeable to the human eye to further prove it, we decided to run a test comparing two versions of a simple application written in React Native and Swift. Both achieved similar performance results. Future proofs. Uh, considering the pace at which the framework took over the market and its simple approach to resolving development player problems, the future of React Native for cross-platform apps looks bright, even though it has a few disadvantages which we will we shall discuss in detail react native the drawbacks first one lack of uh, some custom modules while react native has been around for several years now some custom modules either leave a room for improvement or are entirely missing this means that you might need to run three separate code bases for react native ios and android instead of just one that being said, it's not a common occurrence unless you are developing your app from scratch or trying to back hack or an existing one. You likely wouldn't come across these issues. Compatibility and debugging issues. While it may come a surprise, after all, React Native is used by top technical uh, players, it is still a beta phase. Your developers might come across various issues with package compatibility or debugging tools if your developers are not proficient in react native 
this might negatively impact your development as they spend time on lengthy troubleshooting scalability most of the time a react native will work very well for you even if your app eventually grows into a high sophisticated complex solution after all companies like facebook and skype have found much success with the framework and have been using it consistently for many years that being said some companies have decided to back out from using react native airbnb for instance decided to use the framework for its mobile app back when the company was just an emerging startup over time however uh, react native proved to be unfit for the company's growth plans and airbnb uh, resorted to developing two native apps with the current advancements in rn and with the right software architecture choices scalability issues can easily be prevented react uh, native developers help needed remember uh, remember the bridging feature we uh, as we discussed earlier in this uh, our video as it showed react uh, native bridges javascript with native mobile code this means that if you put a developer who doesn't have knowledge of native mobile development in charge they will have a hard time incorporating native code into the rn code base as a result you will need some assistance from android or ios developers to guide them through the process if you are a small company you might not want to hire native mobile developers as this generates additional cost one way of uh, tackling this is by engaging a software consultancy to give you a helping hand with the native ios and android elements so uh, friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please uh, share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends